Fundamentalists like to think that morality is easy. It's a set of rules that is handed down by God, the absolute authority on this matter, and that are just to be accepted as they are, without question, because they are good. And why are these moral rules good? Why are these moral rules right and just? Because God says so. God, the most powerful entity in reality, says so. Its power is absolute. So I guess might makes right. That is not a very satisfactory basis on which to base morality, though, is it? If you're being reasonable about it. By that definition of what morality is and where it's coming from, your God could conceivably be a tyrant, a capricious, malicious ruler whose only reason for imposing a set of rules upon its subject, mere mortals such as us, is to yank our chains. Would that feel very satisfactory to you? It wouldn't to me, and I know that most religious apologists who want to claim still that their morality is derived from their God would shy away from such a stark definition of morality, no, to the more reasonable fundamentalist, for the, to the more reasonable person who claims that their morality is derived from God, it is clear that God's morality imposed on us is right and just because even to us mere humans it is something that is comprehensible, that we can appreciate as being right or good. We can look at God's rules, they think, and appreciate that these are right we can feel in our gut that God's rules are right and they are just and they are reasonable. But if that's the case, you have to ask yourself a simple question. If we can understand that your God's rules, your God's morality is right and just, how do we do that? How do we look at this set of rules, this moral code that your God supposedly hands down to us and appreciate that those rules are right and just. On what basis do we do, sit, do this? By what yardstick do we define those rules as being right or just? Ultimately, we have to defer to our own innate ability to understand, to grasp concepts such as right or wrong and to apply these to what we see people do around us, the behavior that other people exhibit towards us, towards each other and the responses that those behaviors provoke within us. That is how we decide whether another person's actions are right or wrong. So if you claim that your God's moral code, that moral, that morality is handed down to us by a God, but that we are still able to appreciate how right or wrong this morality is, then you are basically accepting, despite all your claiming, that morality is something that can arise from within us. And if that's the case, we don't need a God, do we, to hand down morality to us. If we have an innate ability to appreciate right from wrong, to appreciate the justness of a moral code, then we should be able to, between us as reasonable people, 
arrive at a satisfactory moral code ourselves without any supernatural intervention, shouldn't we?